Hello, this is Scott Weller, and thank you for watching Scrutiny on the Spring Floors. Dr. Sands has been researching the spring floor for at least 15 years, but I think it's safe to say that the spring floor has never been under this much scrutiny. His research consists of both human and non-human testing, and this video is to show you the methods of collecting data on the human testing. There's no conclusions or data analysis presented at this time. That said, I think you'll find it very interesting. Here's the setup of the spring floor inside the lab. There are actually eight panels and four with AAI springs and four have Weller springs. The data collecting equipment includes pressure plates, strain gauge, accelerometer, high speed video, and the Vicon system including 10 infrared cameras. The strain gauge measures floor deformations, the accelerometer and video and force platform measure displacement and vibrations. They get full kinematics with 42 markers on each athlete, takeoff forces from the force platform directly under the takeoff area, and panel accelerations during the takeoff. Sampling is 200 frames per second kinematics, 1000 hertz for the force platform, and 1000 hertz for the accelerometer. The video shows the data collection only, and I'll leave the analysis of all this to Dr. Sands in future reports and his research that will be published. Here Dr. Sands is affixing the markers on the athlete. With the flash of the still camera, it illuminates the markers, which is really cool. For most of the video, I'm going to let Dr. Sands and his lab assistants give you their explanations. I'll keep my narrations to a minimum. To start, Dr. Sands uses this wand to set up the cameras for the tumbling. This is what it looks like on the computer screen where each one of these squares represents one of the infrared cameras. As the wand goes around, it fills in the area that the cameras will be filming for the gymnastics tumbling. Good. Dr. Sands makes lots of measurements of each gymnast, and all that is input into the computer. So left shoulder, left arm, upper low, elbow, forearm low, right A and B, and the finger. Okay. Right shoulder, right eye, left elbow, forearm high, A and B, and fingers. Okay. Okay. Sternum, sorry, clavicle, sternum, asis, asis, what's this, what's this? No sacrum. No sacrum, no sacrum. No sacrum. Oh, and you're doing the whole thing, thank you. I think we're good, actually. Okay. So then, we're going to have you stand right over here somewhere. Did you put the end up for that? Uh, I'm going to have you just, uh, can you expand that a little bit so she can see it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's getting crowded. There you go. That's you. Go ahead and move around. Do the way. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. This system is just like they use in Hollywood to make their animations in the latest movies like Avatar, where there are computer replications of humans. <laughs> we don't, yeah. So we start out with a stick figure, just like we're going to do feet farther apart. Farther? There you go. And then hands like so with thumbs up. Okay. So basically, the gymnast will do a round off flip flop layout on both types of springs, and the computer generates millions of data points. So the computer doesn't recognize any of the dots without a label, so we're just telling the computer what the labels are. Body. 
Saints, are ready? Is this, uh, um, the right side? Yeah, it's just so you don't want to know. <laughs> Alright, good to so, go. So go ahead and get your steps and uh, see if you're ready to go. Literally hundreds and hundreds of hours have been spent getting familiar with this system. It's really amazing. So what we're looking at is just about 20 frames before you hit the red square and 20 frames after. We're looking at what's happening on the floor with the springs underneath and how the springs are reacting to how hard you're hitting it. So with this dot here is your center of mass and we can guide it and follow it every time. So that just looks exactly like what we should see in many other gymnasts as how your trajectory and your center of mass goes. Um, and what we can you hand me the caliper? Come on, let's go. Slow it down. So that's, that's what oh, you look that's like. Cool. And then these red lines here just shows the opposite direction of the force that you're creating, you're producing. And of course, the higher the red line, the more force you're producing on the floor. And then, not only is it just a pretty picture, but we can select specific markers. Like we'll look at everything in your head. And we can go to, uh, oops, go here. We can turn this into a graph. And it's looking at the X, Y, and Z of what your hips do. So it's looking at you in three dimensions. So um, X is going, uh, Z is going up and down. X is going left and right. And Y is going forward and back. All right, so we can see all the data in just this little area of what's happening. So the, there's, uh, for this, so, um, we probably selected uh, probably close to about a hundred samples, a hundred frames. Mm -hmm. But then you're supposed you got to multiply that by 200 uh, second or 200 times because these cameras are running at 200 frames a second. Wow. So there's probably well over a million. There, there no, I guarantee there's well over a million points of data in here. <laughs> wow. So. That's crazy. But yeah, that's what we're doing, and we're going to analyze the data. That way you can actually keep some. So we can also look at it from every dimension you possibly can think of. Look at it over, under. Um, how do we get the butterfly effect, Dr. Sam? Uh, you got to go to options. Options. Okay. And then click on four slates. Okay. Uh, and then a bunch of options should come up. Yep. And then 
then uh, just click on show butterfly. Or oh, butterfly. got it. Draw butterfly. So we can look at the butterfly effects, and it automatically calculates it for us. What do you mean by butterfly? It looks at all the area under the um, under the graph of the forces oh, that yeah. she produces. So I was just showing me that earlier. I, I was just uh, looking at the points, but we can look at uh, the forces. So we're just looking at all the Z forces on all three plates and it's just showing us the, what's the uh, area between this line and the, the very tip of the, uh, um, the, uh, the graph that it's creating. It's just showing what that area is doing and how it's moving. Of course, the, the red is going to be higher pressure or higher forces. The blues are going to be the lighter ones. So you can analyze anything, any way. So if you got a question, we probably can find the answer. So go to live. We'll leave it on. the difference between the first and the second? I felt like my tumbling was better on the first floor that I tried it on. I don't know, like, I felt like I had more power and had a better layout. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed watching Scrutiny on the Spring Floors. Thank you very much.